Ryzen created a buzz with their 9000 series processors before its release. And their flagship 9950X processor was expected to give a close fight to its direct rival, the Core i9-14900K. If we fast forward from that time period, the Ryzen 9 9950X is already released now. And the 14th gen Intel processors have been leading the CPU market for almost a year. This means that now we have all the performance metrics and benchmark results to justify whether both the CPUs actually met their potentials or not. So which one is going to win this high performance processor battle? Okay, so directly comparing the specs of an AMD and Intel CPU is not very practical since their architectures are so different. However, there are still a few key points to consider when looking at the specs of these CPUs. The Intel Core i9-14900K fits into the LGA-1700 socket, while the AMD Ryzen 99950X uses the AM5 socket. Intel is expected to switch to a new socket with its 15th gen CPUs, which could limit future upgrades. According to Club 386, AMD has committed to supporting the AM5 socket for 2027 and several more years. Surely that's a big relief for AMD users. If we talk about packaging, we all know that Intel uses a mix of performance cores and efficiency cores in its processors, while AMD sticks to a single core design for all its CPUs. This gives Intel an edge, as it can provide more threads to applications that can utilize them fully. Although the Ryzen 9 9950X, with its 16 cores and 32 threads, offers strong multi-threaded performance, Intel delivers even more. The downside of Intel's design is that not all threads are equally powerful. While they can assist in some tasks, it's mainly the eight performance cores doing the heavy lifting. Additionally, Intel's efficiency cores don't support hyper-threading. As a result, even though the Core i9-14900K has more cores than the Ryzen 9 9950X, both CPUs still offer the same number of threads. The 14900K clocks at 6 GHz and 4.4 GHz respectively. 68 MB of cache are available, and the CPU can be used with DDR4 and DDR5 RAM, which makes it a versatile option for those with existing memory modules. The clock speed of the 9950X can reach up to 5.7 GHz. But as with Intel, your actual performance will vary depending on your cooling setup, the chip quality, and your motherboard. It also has an impressive 81 megabytes of cache before needing to dip into RAM, and the AM5 platform only supports DDR5. It's a close competition, but Intel takes the lead. Now let's talk about what actually matters, the performance. When it comes to productivity, the 14900K is a strong performer, no doubt about it, but the 9950X is even stronger. In Cinebench R23, you can see both chips are neck and neck in single core performance, even though the Core i9-14900K has a higher boost clock speed. However, the Ryzen 9 9950X pulls ahead in multi-core performance by outshining the Intel chip despite Intel's advanced architecture and design. Surprisingly, the most dominant showing for the Ryzen 9 9950X, however, was Blender. Here, the Ryzen 9 9950X is over 20% ahead of the Core i9-14900K while rendering. There isn't much to talk about when it comes to gaming performance, because the Intel 14900K beats the Ryzen 9 9950X in almost every game. As the chart shows, the Core i9-14900K comes out on top in almost every test. Ryzen 9 9950X only took the lead in ashes of the singularity, and even that was by a slim margin. Although the Core i9-14900K is strong in gaming, the Ryzen 9 9950X has a unique strength. It features a 512-bit data path for AVX 512 instructions, which can significantly enhance performance in certain games. This is especially beneficial for PS3 emulation, where AVX 512 instructions are crucial. Now, one notable fact is that Intel has faced some stability problems with its 13th gen and 14th gen CPUs, especially with high-end unlocked models like the Core i9-14900K. According to Intel, these issues are often caused by incorrect voltage delivery to the CPU, which can cause the processor to degrade quickly. 
This can start with minor issues like game crashes and eventually lead to system lockups or blue screens of death. Recently, Intel released a microcode update to fix these problems, but only time will tell if it truly solves the instability. The Ryzen 99950X is fresh on the market at $650. This price will go down, but it might take a while. Even the older model, the 7950X, still sells for $500. The i9-14900K has been around for a year, so it's a lot cheaper now. You can get it for $527. Even the older i9-139000K costs only $437 now. For a long time after AMD's new CPU comes out, expect the i9-14900K to be about $100 less than the Ryzen 9 9950X. That's a great deal. So it's time to make a decision. Which one should you buy? AMD's newest processor is great for productivity, but it lags in gaming and comes at a higher price. The Core i9-14900K is almost a year old now. Since AMD only performs better in specific areas, it's difficult to see how the Ryzen 9 9950X can keep pace with Intel's Arrow Lake CPUs when they are released. If you're building a top-notch computer or a system for creating content, the Ryzen 9 9950X should be the ideal choice. And if you are well concerned about your wallet and gaming is your top priority, then no doubt the Core i9-14900K is waiting for you. Thanks for watching our video. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.